Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's Open Heavens Devotion. My name is Tude Dada, pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders Family in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic, keys to greatness. Keys to greatness. And our text is taken from Psalm 103, verse 1 to verse 5. Psalm 103, verse 1 through to verse 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy soul with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. A memory verse from Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke 1, 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible. Our reflection. We are looking again today at the topic of greatness and keys that can get you there. When we talk of greatness, we are talking of getting to the top. When you have gotten to the top, will you still remember God who got you there? Of course, God has designed life in such a way that there are always greater heights to climb. One can never really say that one has arrived and has no higher achievements to make. But often, when individuals get to a certain desired level, they pat themselves on the back and say, well done, without acknowledging God. When such a person does this, they will proceed back down the ladder rather than climbing upwards. Remember that God lifts the humble and brings low the proud. The right attitude is that of the psalmist who said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 says, Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your creator. Honor him in your youth before you grow old and say, Life is not pleasant anymore. Once you have placed God at the center of your life, there is nothing to hold you back from greatness. It may feel that the way to greatness is taking longer than you expected, but there is, there is one thing, you know, that's your trust. Where your trust, your faith, and patience is important. A memory verse tells us that with God, nothing is impossible. It does not matter how far from greatness you appear to be you can overcome every obstacle to get there. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, Yet God has made everything beautiful for his own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. Post, uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 6 says, So Jothan became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord is God. There is a need for preparation before greatness. God may entrust you with little to ascertain your level of obedience before entrusting you with greater responsibilities. Remember that each new level comes with new challenges. Are you equipped to handle these challenges? Prepare yourself adequately and have a good attitude while you are waiting. Then you will be able to sustain greatness that comes your way. Action point. God has made every provision in his plan for you to be great. Do not write yourself off, my brother. Do not write yourself off, my sister. Choose not to remain small and the Lord will lift you up. May the Lord bless you and keep you and watch over you until I come your way again. Shalom, peace and glory. Bye for now.